You know, you're kind of matching our mic flag, Timothy. Oh, yeah, Thank you're right. <laughs> That's like an off yellow. <laughs> this is like a... What, what, fluorescent, almost? Well, who are you wearing? I mean, from a sweater earlier to a suit right now, this making is, uh, it work. a little Givenchy suit. Ooh. I feel like there's no way to say that without sounding like a <laughs> punk, but... But you are. I mean, do you know... But you are. Well, <laughs> but no, you are. but you are a no. fashion no. icon, no, no, Timothy. No, no, no. no. Yes. Not true. You love it, though. I have fun with it. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, our, your co-star, she's a Chanel girl. Who's a bigger fashionista, you or her? Um, I don't know, maybe Joel. He's an LV guy. <laughs> Look at his LV oh. drip tonight. <laughs> his drip tonight, yeah. In all blue, he's looking good. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> Hello. Oh. Love. Good side. Timothy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're, uh, yeah. you're the king, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's my movie. Do you yeah. recognize him without the bowl cut? No. <laughs> <laughs> we held him down. And nice him. to meet you, sign. <laughs> First time. I just did a Daniel Day. No, I'm kidding. What, what was it like to live life with that bowl cut, Timothy? It's behind you. Is it triggering you? <laughs> no, uh, no. No, it sounds so silly because it's your hair and that shit. No one, no one cares. So, you know, you, you, yeah. In life, you when you learn that lesson, like the things you're self-conscious about, really no one gives a about. So, what are you self-conscious about? No, when you're rocking a bowl cut for the first time, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, then you realize nobody cares. But I definitely had like more caps than usual in that period. Got it, got it, got it. Um, career skyrocketing right now. What can we expect? Switching gears a little bit for Little Women because we are so excited oh, yeah. for that one. It's it's uh. It's similar to The King. I know, okay. It's um, it's wildly different, and uh, it's an awesome movie. Greta's gonna be here tonight, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, and it's just a great movie. I'm really proud of it. I I, uh, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm speaking at a turn, but I'm really, really feeling uh, good about it. And uh, what a joy! I got to be with Saoirse and Greta again, except this time it wasn't on a, it wasn't in a, a tiny house in California, and I wasn't being. An <laughs> I got to play like a great. Uh, one of the great literary parts in American in American literature. And by the way, um, fans going nuts for you and Sersha's chemistry together. On oh, have they seen it already? Well, in the trailer. Oh, in the trailer, yeah, 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 absolutely. I was like, wait, who? They saw? I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, no. But uh, I appreciate you saying that. I mean, your career. Joel was talking to me about this earlier. He's like, even since we made this movie, your career is just skyrocketing, like on another level. Is life crazy for you? Like, do you have paparazzi following you around all the time and stuff? Now, how are you handling all that change? No, not particularly. I mean, I feel like even when I was growing up, like. I don't know. There's ways to meet it halfway, and I'd way rather these kinds of stresses or anxieties than, uh, like, what am I going to get on my PHSAT or SAT or ACT or whatever, you know. I guess I'm not in high school anymore. What's the college equivalent of that? Like the bar or something? Like, to be a lawyer? But I feel like the paps are following you. It's not. Now, I don't feel like it works that way anymore as much. I mean, those, those, those things exist, but this is a bigger conversation. Oh, okay. But with social media, you know, any, you know, anybody has a camera anywhere. So I wonder what the business model is uh, following people around the DSLR, but uh, who knows.